Next to the breaking political headline on this, the 29th day of the long government standoff, President Trump proposing a new offer to Democrats involving temporary considerations for DACA recipients in exchange for billions for his border wall. Democrats taking no time to strike back with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling the proposal a non-starter, renewing calls for the president to open up the government first. ABC's David Wright is at the White House. Tonight, nearly one month into the shutdown, the president finally changed his bargaining position. Straightforward, fair, reasonable, and common sense with lots of compromise. From the diplomatic room at the White House, he offered Democrats some things they want in exchange for the $5.7 billion he wants to build his border wall. This is not a 2,000-mile concrete structure from sea to sea. These are steel barriers in high-priority locations. A steel barrier will help us stop illegal immigration while safely directing commerce to our lawful ports of entry. In exchange, President Trump agreed to extend work authorizations and other protections for three years for so-called dreamers, undocumented immigrants brought into the U.S. as children. This extension will give them access to work permits, social security numbers, and protection from deportation, most importantly. The president also proposed extending temporary protected status for some 300,000 others, but offered no pathway to citizenship beyond that. Speaker Nancy Pelosi called it a non-starter, having said in the past that the Dreamers and the border wall should not be linked. Well, because they're two different subjects. The Democrats are reportedly ready to sweeten their offer, including a billion dollars for border-related measures and no money for Trump's wall, which Pelosi has called immoral. Walls are not immoral. In fact, they are the opposite of immoral because they will save many lives. The president said today that Senate Republicans will put his proposal to a vote first thing next week. But it's not clear that Mitch McConnell even has enough votes to start debate. The Democrats, meanwhile, are digging in their heels. Their message to the president is that the only way to move forward is to reopen the government, Tom. No end in sight, at least for tonight. All right, David, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.